Hello guys and welcome to episode 17 of my Empire Total War campaign, playing as Great Britain on very hard difficulty. Today we are basically continuing after defeating Poland Lithuania at Königsberg. It took an entire episode, the whole 30 minutes, to win that battle because the AI seemed to take their sweet time. But that's fine. Um, we also ended up getting 8,000 in our end term, which was really, really good. At Paris, um, we can probably start exempting or stopping the exemption from tax as well, which will put it up to 8,774, which is very good. And um, we need to get rid of the troops here, which is going to be some cav. Um, I'm probably just going to move my entire army out briefly, unless they are replenishing. Yeah, some of them are replenishing, so we'll have to move um, some of our other troops out. That's fine. Or to resolve that and move back. Okay, fix that up. Search and technology. Uh, we're still researching the fire by rank there. I think what we're going to do is because France loves to be annoying at the moment. I was saying that. There's no armies nearby. Yeah, I think we'll just keep the research going there for fire by rank. And let's fix up all this stuff while we're here. Because there's no Spanish in sight. Oh, there's a Spanish up in the top left. Yeah, maybe it'd be worth just dismantling stuff then. Rather than repairing it. That only costs 100 to repair. That's only 90. I mean, let's just let's just do it like so, and then, you know, if they start render raiding again, then I'll just demolish them next time. Right, time to pick up some grenadiers. I think these are like the next level of infantry. We only get eighty of them in a regiment, though. But I think it would be good to sort of bolster the forces at Paris. And the melee attack of uh, Grenadiers is like four more. And the melee defense is more as well. Morale is roughly the same. Actually, never mind. I know what I'm going to do with my money. We're going to build um, fourth rate ship of the lines. Yeah. We need a navy that's strong enough to defeat the Spanish. And getting fourth rates is the way to start doing that. I'm also going to start recruiting myself some more Indiamans, I think. So we'll put it all into our navy. Definitely very important. Right, where are our navies? We've got this fleet, this fleet. They're bringing down my gentlemen. Okay. We'll have those both drop into England. We need to upgrade this to a college at some point. Um, what else? We'll jump into our list again. So yeah, he's just blockading the French fleet, stopping them from building new fleets. We've got the dudes in Paris. We've got the dudes in um, Montreal. There's the guys in Königsberg. In Montreal, we do need to replenish these dudes, don't we? Yeah. Okay, maybe I can't afford all those ships and stuff. Need to make sure that that replenishment is done in here. Montreal. Right, so that's all replenishing except from the Dragoons. That requires another 500. I'm going to have one fourth rate building. Yeah. That's cool. Let's now look into our agents. I think we'll have this rake. 
possibly jump into the Iroquois settlement here. They have some cannons? Okay. Because I need to think about attacking these dudes. We could just go across to the Run Wyandot and attack them. Or I could just forget about the Iroquois for now. We could build like a settlement fortification here and then sail down and, and take the Georgia and oh, the Savannah and Chikasa here. Don't want to be fighting too many wars though. That's the trouble. Let's go to the Iroquois, we'll infiltrate there. Back to agents. All the gentlemen are in their positions. I think we're good. That's everything done for the turn. Let's end the turn. I'm just wondering if uh, Austria's at war with France. Oh, I do need to get my fleet to sail, don't I, to the Ivory Coast. I think I forgot to do that in the last turn. The Spanish have been on my heels, but my trade ships are getting there, <laughs> slowly but surely. Confederacy are sending some ships about. Think too much to worry about though. Great. There is a degree nice of nice amount of cash made religion, again, as the majority of the population follow a different religion to that of their rulers. Send missionaries. To... I think I have my missionary here, don't I? Where is he at the moment? Actually, I think he's inside the settlement. Yeah, he's the missionary is inside the settlement. That well confused me. I don't know why he was asking me about that. Anyway, we have this guy. He's plus one management for treasury. And for justice, this guy's minus one happiness for lower classes, minus three percent to clamor for reform, extra one, uh, extra happiness for nobility. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty much happy for the most part, anyway. And now we're having some decent income. It's even better. And now we're also researching our fire by rank. Okay. Right, let's recruit another fourth rate ship of the line while we're here. How much do they cost upkeep? 460. It's quite a lot, isn't it? This army's pretty much fully replenished. And the rest of the cash, I'm just maxing them. As for this army, they will replenish next turn. Okay, let's jump down here to the bottom left, where we have our ships. Fleet ready. Have them sail to the Ivory Coast. Okay, these guys are moving into port to pick up the fourth rate ship of the lines. And I think I might honestly just have my sloops and brigs. Actually, we'll have like maybe one sixth rate, the brig there. And we'll have them all repair. Yeah, and then we'll send the sloops, the brigs, and one sixth rate back to the American theatre with uh, 
Edward Russell here. I'm going to have uh, John Leake lead my main force, which is going to be fifth rates and fourth rates. And that's going to be a, a nice, nice navy for sure. We still have this guy as well who can join us. He's got a sixth rate and a fifth rate. Okay. Uh, if we jump into the lists, we're not moving any of our armies, I don't think, because they're all replenishing. So yeah, John Churchill's busy replenishing here. Um, we have our army in the Americas, which we're going to get the Colonial Dragoons. I'm going to recruit Rogers Rangers, and we're going to recruit some Grenadiers. Uh, the rest of the cash can go towards India men, because what we're going to do is escort some more India men down to the Ivory Coast with this big army that I'm creating, or navy, sorry. As for our rake, that needs he needs to get in there. He was detected. Stealth is my cloak. Never mind. Oh yeah, my agents. They can. We'll jump into Cambridge. By your leave. Aha. A place of learning and culture. It's good. I'm not sure how much that increases my research there, but we'll find out when we try and research another thing. It has actually lowered it all quite a bit. Yeah, it's not that much more now than or Lyon. So that's good. Okay, time to move on to the next turn. I mean, we're making like loads of cash every turn, so it's great. Spain's coming back down. I'm going to be damaging my infrastructure. I might ask for a peace treaty again with Poland, Lithuania and Prussia. Seems they might have gone to war. Actually, maybe not. I'm not sure. Unless uh, Austria has just sort of sorted itself out. The map definitely seems to have changed. Not much else to really talk about in these interns anymore. A matter of waiting for our navies to be ready to go. The Hill and Wan dot are probably going to become very annoying. The pirates are getting stronger in the Americas, but we're going to send back our ships this turn. Canister shot works on strike. I don't know what this emigration due to starvation is in Arcadia. Arcadia, they have like a high yield farm here. How that's starving, I will never know. I think it's because. Possibly the building here, the governor's mansion, is too big. Might as fleet has arrived. Um, yeah, let's come over here. Take that one. Okay. Gonna give us 1,400. Can I go claim that one as well? Okay, it doesn't really make too much of a difference. You split them up, it's probably best having them all together, isn't it? A lot of Indiamen. I guess I could like claim them all for myself and then send more Indiamen down here. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just uh, start recruiting even more Indiamen. All of my trade ports. Build Indiamen. <laughs> you have so many. Just 
keep queuing up those fourth rates as well. Um, while we're here, we need to get our sloops, our sixth rate brig. And I think I'll actually take Edward Russell here and we'll send them back to the Americas. That's going to leave us with the fifth rates and the sixth rate. And we've got this fifth rate and sixth rate. Then we'll have two fourth rates. Nice. We are now five turns from fire by rank. Not sure if we should go towards improved grenades. It will give us Hessian grenadiers. But I'm not sure how useful they'll be. What's that even lead on to? It does lead on to explosive shells. We could just work on like the socket bayonet or condensed marching. Let's do measuring tools. Plus four percent wealth generated by industrial buildings. And plus four percent to town wealth from all buildings. That's good. That should work absolutely fine. Uh, we've got one grenadiers, haven't we? Let's maybe recruit some more line infantry in here. I might even get some more cav as well. Right, with the navy that's left here, we're going to bring over our grenadiers. Good. And we're getting to the point where we can attack uh, Brussels here, which will be really, really good. I might siege it and see if the Netherlands come and help us out. That would be nice. Since we do have cash left, I'm very tempted to spend it somewhere. Upgrade this to a college. That's the perfect thing to do. Yep, that's going to be my choice. Diplomatic relations, see if we can get those peace treaties. Never mind. Alright, we'll end the turn. I don't think there was anything that I wanted to do. Oh, France depleted their army there. Might be my time to attack. Mm, that Spanish navy is getting big. Oh, that's, uh, that's nasty. Speaking of Spanish armies though, that one raiding the college there is kind of annoying. We'll probably just have to go and crush them uh, before we attack France, because I think that getting the fire by rank is just way more important. Unless I just start doing the fire by rank research at Cambridge. I should have probably done that a while ago. It probably would have been done by now. I'm just going to raid all my stuff now, aren't they? How irritating. Ugh. Alright, well. We only got like 4,000 this turn. Probably because our army upkeep just like doubled. Time to take out these chaps. Victory! Going to auto-resolve that. Well, that probably wasn't worth auto-resolving. Probably should have just Forward! killed them personally. Because now that's going to cost me a bomb to... Yeah. Ah, oh well. John Churchill gets plus 5% to infantry's unit campaign map movement range, which is nice. Plus 2 command when leading infantry units. Um, successful mission. Trait gained. 
Alright, let's jump over to the Americas. Yeah, we are inside there. Actually, jumping over to India, the Maratha Confederacy has taken, like, all of India, haven't they? I think that's what happened last time I played. We are trading with them, which is good. We're not trading with Russia yet, but we could be. No, they're not going to take it. Alright, how are we doing here? Our army is pretty much good to go, isn't it? But they have just recruited a bunch more dudes. That's a scary amount of men. Native artillery. I guess that's a thing. Um, hmm. Can I move all of these guys out? I can. So they can join me here. That's going to make this army a bit bigger. Just the, like the, when these guys get into like melee range, they're just really strong. I feel like we should win though. Oh, Westphalia has been destroyed. It's actually really good. Um, oh, this French army is very, very depleted. This could be our chance to crush France once and for all. Can't leave Paris undefended though. Let's switch over the technology before I forget. I'm going to change uh, Orléans to Candence Marching. We'll turn that one to fire by rank. Okay, six turns is fine. Alright, recruitment report. We now have a bigger navy. In another turn, we've got another ship there. Let's continue with the building of fourth rates. Right, if we jump to the Ivory Coast here, let's get this. Yes. Fleet to just take that node. And we'll just sort of reinforce those fleets. So we finally got them there, but being at war with Spain really delayed that a lot. How's this Spanish Navy looking? They've got quite a few of these light galleys, but a lot of these are just galleons. How many galleons they have? Just nuts. Like, if you look at like the whole strength of these, four thousand six hundred eighty-three. That's like more than my fourth rates. That's how crazy that is. Oh well. Um, let's have a look at Königsberg. They're all fully good to go, aren't they? Again, that's great. And the Habana. How are we doing for happiness here? Well, they actually love us. Okay, so we're going to move them back down to the port here. I think we'll get to a point where we can take back Santo Domingo off the pirates. Or we could just jump onto the water and go and take, for example, this off France. That would probably be better. We've got our fleet arriving, I think, next turn in, a, in the Americas up here so he can start sailing down there's a town popped up at uh, Cuba we should build that into something soon yeah, a new town emerges 
Nice. Right, this turn we're going to get 4,100. Our army will take two turns to replenish. And then we can attack Brussels. I'm not really worried about the fire by rank anymore if their army is significantly smaller than ours. So that's what we're going to be looking to do. Oh, he hasn't actually reached it yet. Okay, now he has. Let's end the turn. I think the French took out Westphalia by destroying them at Cologne. Um... We should be able to take all of those lands off the French and not have to worry too much. Like about anyone fi fighting back, really. I'm assuming Savoy's still alive. They're still at war with us, aren't they? I might be able to get a peace treaty with them, though. But never mind. We have a battle at Königsberg. Well, considering how long this battle took last time, I know it's a lot less men, but considering how long it took last time, I think I'm going to leave this till the next episode, which is unfortunate because there's a little bit of time left. But yeah, we're going to leave it here. Um, next time round, we'll defend against Poland-Lithuania once again. Um, we'll probably do our attack onto the French in Brussels. So there's that to look forward to. We've also got naval battles to look forward to with the Spanish. Um, however, I'm not sure I'm going to win them because the amount of galleons they have is absolutely ludicrous. We'll work it out. But that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.